Hello and welcome to a new episode of Airport CEO here on Bongo Planes. As always, before we get further into the video, if you should end up enjoying this episode, then feel free to leave a like. And of course, if you are new around here, you're always welcome to hit subscribe. All right, so last time we started off this new series where we try to replicate Geneva Airport. And the major thing we accomplished last time was to put down some of the most important landmarks around the airport so that we can orient ourselves. And the next step, of course, on our way to recreate the airport is to um, basically now get all the taxiways placed down, which of course is now much easier because we have basically already established more or less how the airport works will be um, well structured. So after more or less having established the taxiway system, there's of course still plenty of things to do here. For example, we still need to establish rules on these taxiways. So what aircraft types can use the different taxiways, but that's something we will go into a little bit later. But basically um, the taxiway that will go alongside the terminal that will be only for um, small and medium aircraft. I don't want wide bodies to go in there because in real life they wouldn't be taxiing there either. Um, but as I said, these are rules we need to establish later. Another thing we need to look at here is actually also making sure that we have all the facilities necessary. You see, as we are at the very beginning of building the airport, we don't really have any contracts signed here at the airport. So we have, for example, no contracts with any catering companies. We don't even have any staff assigned or hired yet. But all that, of course, needs to change at some point. But with contracts there is a rating system and the most important thing we have learned over the last couple of years playing this game is that the rating system surprisingly um, isn't determined by the quality of the airport as such so for example how well you're doing in turning around aircraft or how well you're servicing passengers no the uh, rating system actually comprises of well what facilities you have on, at the airport what you're offering basically um, not how well you're doing with it. So one of the most important things um, that I have always built as one of the last things is actually the emergency services. The one of the reasons why I built it as one of the last things was just because there were so many other things that I saw as more crucial to an airport. But I mean, of course, in the game, not in real life. But um, this is a very important part for the rating system and of course we want to get a five star rating as fast as possible so that we can get all the contract offers that will be available at a later stage in the game um, so that's why we are making sure that we immediately are placing down the emergency services now in real life the um, at least fire training facilities um, used to be where now there is a new international terminal. I think they have moved this area, basically the training facilities. I'm not entirely sure to where, um, because I haven't been to Geneva since they have done that, but um, I think it is basically at this side of the airport where we are placing our facilities down now as well. So it's not entirely realistic, but it's also not completely far away from what happens at the airport in real life. The next part I want to look at here at the airport is actually something that I mentioned briefly in last episode, and that is the fact that Geneva Airport has two runways. A fact that is, well, I guess not very known. But the main reason for that is that, well, the second runway is basically just a grass strip for general aviation. Luckily enough, in the game, we can actually also build grass runways, and we have done so. And after or on the other side of that grass runway, that is where you have a larger area for general aviation, 
aero clubs, all stuff like that. Um, of course, there are many other areas at the airport as well for general aviation because you get a lot of private jets coming into Geneva Airport. Um, but on that side of the airfield, um, you have some more facilities. There's, um, there's some helicopter companies there as well and stuff like that. And that is, of course, something we also want to represent here at the airport when we are building um, a Geneva Airport here in the game. So, of course, we need to place down some um, facilities here. I would uh, like to place down a few hangars, even though in Sandbox, unfortunately, the game doesn't really use them. But, of course, it does give us a little bit of a look and feel of this area. And, of course, we also need some small stands so that um, General Aviation actually uh, will go over to this area so that it will be used in the game. Alright, since we have established um, that part of the airport, I would also like to start actually putting down the foundation for some parts of the terminal areas um, so that we also get a um, feel for how that will be structured. Of course, Geneva Airport has um, perhaps a little bit famously these three small satellite uh, terminals. Two of them do also have jet bridges, so that we also need to establish here. Um, but since we are at the very early stages of the game, of course, we still don't really have any contract signs. We don't have any airlines coming in yet. But of course, the aim is to get that done as fast as possible. So you are always welcome to come up with suggestions for airlines that we can sign a little bit later down the line. Obviously, the more realistic your suggestions are, the more likely it is that I will actually sign these airlines um, but for now everything is a uh, fair game and you can just uh, write your suggestions if you have any it could of course also just be if you feel like i'm overlooking a detail um, that we should add to the airport stuff like that any feedback is always most welcome and you can simply write it in the comment section below the video all right so as mentioned two of these three satellite terminals do actually have jet bridges and that of course means we have a first floor level here so that we can connect the jet bridges up to these satellite terminals and we will have to figure out a way how we get passengers from ground floor level up to this first floor level uh, will be a little bit challenging because we don't have much space inside these uh, buildings because we also need to have space for the boarding desks which are in real life as they will be in this uh, gameplay on ground floor level so there will be some um well tricky work to be done here but i think we will manage somehow all right, so now we have established um, basically the satellite terminals. Of course, there's still much work to be done inside these, but that comes later. Let's head over to our main terminal building. And that main terminal building, well, I mean, we haven't built yet. So, of course, we need to start establishing um, the foundation of that building. Obviously, we have um, the main part, which... Um, I think it's the most known part of the airport um, where you have most uh, uh, the, the vast majority of the traffic going out um, but as I mentioned also in the last episode there is then also a French sector within that building which however is kind of sealed off because um, legally I guess it kind of is then within France even though it is placed within Switzerland it's a little bit complicated um, for locals um, it is very obvious but anyways and then of course we also have the um, newest part of Geneva Airport which is um, where they are handling wide body aircraft and international traffic um, actually some of the satellite tr uh, terminals will also be handling international traffic just as in real life um, but of course we will get into that at a later stage. Now, another unknown fact, or at least for many unknown fact of, of Geneva Airport is that they have more than one terminal. They actually have um, Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. We've just built Terminal 2, basically, and now we are placing down the foundation for Terminal 1, which is, I guess, the oldest terminal f f uh, of Geneva Airport. Um, nowadays, it's, I think, pretty much only handled or only used by EasyJet, maybe Jet 2 as well. Um, but most airlines are operating out of Terminal 2 um, and 
I think most people don't really realize that there is a terminal one, but we do also need to build that. So now we have put down the foundation for this. Now, in order to continue to build terminal two or our main terminal here at the airport, um, I think it is important that we establish the land side because that will very uh, heavily impact um, how much space we have um, at our disposal for the main terminal building. Um, but I think as that is a little bit of a larger project, we will look into that in the next episode of Airport CEO. And that means it is time to end today's video. If you have enjoyed this episode of Airport CEO here on the channel, then feel free to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. With that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.